Come and have a good look yourself. Traditional spice is of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? <sighs> and that's not all. Did you know that... Welcome. Welcome. Uh, how can I help you two? Ah, uh, hi there. We would like to ask you a question. Um, do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Especially around this time of year. Students from Sumero City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. Some even say it's good luck. Ah, you see over there? Those are students from the academia. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few... If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need. Hmm. Those students seem to be discussing something. Nothing but smooth talk all day. <sighs> it's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary-looking Aramite mercenaries have been... There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite factions in Port Ormos. If we choose to move on our own, then it would be wise to steer clear of them. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something? They're called Ein El Akmar. Today... I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading that they're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. As long as they know you're... I've heard that Ein el Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, We'll give you wait, wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on... I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically... Oh, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay... Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. So, what's your plan? Wait, didn't you hear what... 
what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Have you lost your mind? Oh, stop. This is the place we heard those students talking about. Let's find a seat somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Ha! <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracal Battalion. They've also amassed a significant amount of more this time. So we must... How can the Caracal Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out... Yeah. With boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to... Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King. So they're probably the ones we're looking for. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru, and all of them shall be punished. Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should... <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? A traveler? Uh, now's probably not the time to talk about that. Didn't the student say Aramites are wary of outsiders? A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Huh? What is this? Oh! must have grabbed the wrong amount! Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh, Paimon can't stand this, it's so... <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? To know more. <sighs> Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess... As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. It was an advanced civilization. Far beyond any... The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom. But he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. She even... So, you mean the... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land, where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our... Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions, and create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. <sighs> but the story doesn't end there, oh no. The Scarlet King isn't truly dead. Mark my words, our god shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will... If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. <laughs> I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Not just yet. This man is a fraud. Huh? <sighs> You again? <laughs> Deranged academia lunatic. Yes, it's me again. I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss yeah, things with me, 
I take measures to make things oh, hi, uncomfortable for you. Listen to me. That address he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more you're worth. Hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? I told you the other day. I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. Ha! The boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Yes, and in no Blue uncertain mother. terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. Oh. I'm warning you. Don't push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all, then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few biz- I will jeopardize the Eremite's reputation, which I know you value above all. I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I feel- Also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened. To consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my- This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Faros Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. Don't expect us to hold back. Not so fast. First, you return the 500,000 more to them. Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their f- Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word- I, uh... Someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Whoa, did you see that? He not only got us our Mora back, but he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. He was that way! After him! What do you want? No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity- Oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your Mora in the end, they might hurt- <sighs> Alright. Goodbye. Hold your horses! We still have something to- <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must- Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? A student. <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business with you had nothing to do with your lie. Huh? Oh, yeah! He's really strong! He doesn't even have a vision. Maybe not, but he can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... Oh, those high-headed thugs are definitely gonna bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Even if you don't go alone. Hmm. Uh... <sighs> All right, I accept. Got a pen and paper? If you will reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter. Um. So, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, you were willing to part with five hundred thousand mora for something, and you didn't. <laughs> Okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them. Look, if you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. 
Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste... We know it's connected to the Academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. Hmm. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've... This is what you've been looking for. This is a knowledge capsule. To put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information, knowledge ca That's a It's essentially a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to- They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha, and are intended to be destroyed in But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the Academia. Now, in Port Ormos, meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hap- Well, I think that about sums it up. Oh, so that's your ch With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. <sighs> You're still resolved. Thought- Let's continue our conversation here. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with- I need you to find someone named Dory. A Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Some say that as long as there is- She's guarded against people from the Academia because most of her wares don't comply with- I think she blacklisted me. I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This. Why do you want us to meet? Until you complete this task, you don't have. <sighs> you two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informants. Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares, and she only likes customers who I'll prepare some funds for you. Buy her highest quality wares and- What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time! We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which ones are bad- Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental Sight? Oh, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in high- Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? Um, they look the Try inspecting them with elemental sight. How'd it go? Did you see anything? Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental- That's because knowledge originates from Ermansoul, the root of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in- However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little- Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for- that sounds pretty impressive. Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password. And here is the Mora for Don't Be yeah. Cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any Mora left, though, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Your efforts will. Matra? Hmm. They belong to the Academia's regulatory body. <gasps> They also handle cases of illegal canned knowledge transactions. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. If you two want to back out, now's the time. 
Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wickhel- Looking at what Alhatham wrote, Dory's informant is a traitor near Old Ormos. Let's follow these instructions and try to get in contact with him. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? Wait. Are you sure you're remembering that right? Uh... Hyman doesn't think it was that on the paper. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe horror fruits. Following the paper got us past the first... Ronok. These two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Got it. You two. Please follow me. You two have a fat... Uh, hold on. Let me think. wearing morning flowers ah my mistake i do apologize Whew. that pop quiz sure was scary ah the warehouse is up ahead please follow me Before I retrieve your products, I need to confirm a few things. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. Uh, hold on. That's not right. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. But as things cur- He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer- Before I retrieve your products, uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Would you like your horror fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? I'm guessing that you're going for a more traditional. Wait a sec. Sumeru City style means we're only buying a few things. He won't take us to see Dory if we do that. Ah, uh, I'm. He's cautious of us. Let's take a closer look. Before I retrieve your pro- uh, Please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our horror fruits were taken by mice. <laughs> Thanks. You look like you have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? 
Yep, that's the right answer. But eating Hara fruit... Would you like your Hara fruits to be packaged in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo style? Wow, you two sure are generous customers. We'll be sure to package your... Okay, everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at... Shoot, it's the Matra! Run! What? The Matra? Where? All havens that were dumped were if they catch us! We gotta get out of here! We don't know this area, so let's follow that employment! Hiding from the Frisco Land Tiger. Come this way. Another password. Huh? Oh, that voice came from behind the building on the right. Here, over here. You can stop running now. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. But uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else... Oh, very good. Huh? Wait, you're Dory? I'm unsure... Hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. If you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about it. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, your reactions were also pretty sharp. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora... Uh, I'm just not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment. I can't risk doing business with people who start huffing and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much Mora they might have. Not only will they get caught by the Matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. As decent folks, so that's why I prefer to have it's your first time here. But don't worry, I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough now, as long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead. Wow, she has a trove of pure knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the mod- What kind of products do you seek, my dear customers? Oh, don't worry, I'll not take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology. Hey, who would want to be an expert? Or how about... With this one, you can become an expert in his- Ooh, now there's two million mora, and it's- Whoa! Of course, you are free to pick whatever your hearts desire. The contents and price of each knowledge capsule are indicated in small text on the body of- All right, let's try the method that I'll hate them mention. You've really got a good head of- I'll take these, please and thank you. My oh my, you are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of- Say what now? Hey, did you hear that? Spend another hundred K, and we get a capsule worth a whole billion! But all the canned knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend- Think about it. 
We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole canned knowledge thing works? We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? Come on, come on. We still have around a hundred thousand of our Hatham's moral left. So let's put it to good use by finding something useful for you. Ahem. Excellent. And then please select from. Uh, hold on a second. I thought that we could choose whatever we wanted. Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more. Uh oh. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. Let's use Elemental Sight again to check these. Huh? Why? Hey, we're getting a capsule worth on... Well, anyway, the more's already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Let Paimon take a look here. An intro... Not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? Dory? We'll take this one! Alright! Very good! I'm expecting some new goods in the next couple days, so be sure to check back again soon, whether it... Trust. Our dealings with Dory went smoothly enough. Power. Let's head to Wakala Funduk and meet up with all Hatham. Hopefully now he'll finally tell us about what the... <laughs> oh! Ah! Uh, please! the world holds dear is but a backdrop of constant motion. I stand before it, alone and unchanging. I charge a higher rate to meet outside the office. You two made it. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Whoa, there's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the matcha won't come here. <sighs> okay now. Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the no- Before that, I have to ask. Why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer, of course. Yeah, he just wants to meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, but we still haven't found a way. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. In that case, you're on the right track. A short while ago, the Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Wow. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we can look... I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. So... That's what we need to find out next. I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the divine knowledge cap- As you know, the Eremites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever- Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late. 
but there is st my personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, however, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he will return to this world when they obtain it. They refuse to let it. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Ainul Ahmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. <sighs> to that end, they so I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiation. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Each brigade to ensure the capsule security and to evade the mantra's notice, the winning brigade will not pub unless I know whose hands the Divine Knowledge Capsule ends up in. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously close to me. With you... In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where... Yes, you can say that. But this or the day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If, if I get the opportunity to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Okay, then... Um, oh, hey, Thum, before you go, we actually bought a knowledge... <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Doing so right under the academia's nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we have... This place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Hmm. Sword fighting techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find. Really? Ah, oh, yeah. What a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. One before using this knowledge capsule, and one while you fight, we can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your ver- There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry. I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Wow! Oh, hey, Thumb! You must be one of those- Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed canned knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? So... When you are unable to understand the researcher's actions, most cases can be attributed to curiosity. Mm -hmm. All right, let's begin the test. Link your Akasha to the next step is to use this knowledge. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power.
Hey, how are you feeling? You mean that it worked? All right. Time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. I'll start recording data again. Oh, Ethan, has it well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve his combat capability. During the second fight, his overall fighting. Wait, how much? Ugh! Dory's such a jerk! She totally scammed us! One million. Of course, this could be because he is so powerful that the capsule's contents were unable to- At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. I'm heading back to Akela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. today and ask her about where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? You name it. Hand knowledge, supplies, or anything else you... Can you really get us anything we want? Uh-huh. So it appears that hand knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. <sighs> then please, oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. Oh! <laughs> I knew customers with pockets as deep as yours, but you know, that kind of information... After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. And not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the lead... But how can we be sure your information is at... <laughs> because to me, anything of value asks for the information's authenticity. Well, you've no need to worry about that. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can just... It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's the scoop. I'm El Ahmar. You... Ah, so you're off. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, that Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike <laughs> any other canned knowledge I've seen. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look... Thanks for the info, to Please, it's my pl... Well, we figured out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. It turns out, it ended up in the hands of I...
Really? All right. Let's hear it. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. Bold move, Dory. Very bold move. All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, the leader of Ain al Ahmar. And the glowing red capsule he's holding appears to be the Divine Knowledge Capsule. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain el Ahmar guys. But now, after we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to let- Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged day. See you then. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking his time. Where could he be? Oh, there he is. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pe- Yep, let's go. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. It was I who demanded that these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. This is turning into quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. Backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? You've come to support this lunatic. I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, You'll be nothing more than fish food. Get them, boys! Uh-oh. Here they come. Uh, good luck, you two. That's close enough. Order guide you. Scum! <laughs> Boss! Finally! Did you use it? Great! Now we can... Uh -huh. Boss? Uh -huh. 
Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all Hatham? Of course. I was only trying to help. Take him away! Looks like he used the Divine Knowledge Capsule. You mean, the Divine Knowledge Capsule did that to him? Oh, yeah. You mean how some researchers go insane after getting- I've heard of numerous incidents of researchers in Satyavada life going insane. The state that man is now in suggests this Divine Knowledge Capsule does appear to be linked to the gods. But beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors- Did you hear what he said? World? Forget me. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back too. Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain in Port Ormos. Oh, we were so busy trying to find the divine knowledge capsule that Paimon forgot to ask you something. Since you're a member of the Ac Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make- uh, Everything about Lesser- I'm heading back to the Academia. Uh, it's almost the day of the Sub-Zero's festival. Maybe we should head back to- We've been rushed off our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher-ups require?